All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I've been using AI in ChatGPT to save me literally hours and hours of time that I'd spend doing research and ideation for my business and for clients. So this is gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing. I did this yesterday in about 30 to 45 minutes. And this would have taken me easily days, if not a week or more putting this all together, not to mention all the mental energy it would take to go and figure all this stuff out. So usually when I create my own new offer, or this is actually for an existing offer, or if I'm working with a client, helping them launch an offer, I have to do some research, right? Typically this starts, if I'm working with a client, with me questioning them and having them give me the answers about their product or service, which which is great, but also there are some missing areas that they might not have the right information to. So I am using AI and ChatGBT. I'm just using the free plan right now and I'm feeding it prompts and it's giving me back some pretty awesome answers that's saving me a lot of time and energy. And of course, allows me to take on more clients and do more work because I can do it quicker. So we're gonna talk about what I've been using it for. Before I do, I just wanna make you aware of the gentleman's agreement. So the way it works is if you've watched more than one of my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Helps me out in a big way. It also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this as well. And I plan to be putting out a lot more YouTube videos just like this. So let's take a look at what's going on here. You can see in the left that I have different things that I'm looking for. So the market, the customer profile problems, how, my, uh, how this service helps, the pain points, the customer, what they're feeling and saying and their emotions, the benefits, objections, competitors, timer stands for time, identity, money, energy, and reputation. And then also I use it to create or come up with some content ideas for me. So I'm not gonna go through all of this, but I just wanna start to show you, uh, and I'm just scratching the surface by the way, I just wanna show you what I've been playing around with and the power of feeding it the right prompts and seeing what comes out. <clears throat> so first is the market. So this is a existing service. It's not $50,000 yet, it's actually 30 to $35,000 depending on how you pay. But I wanted to have a one-sheeter in terms of just getting really airtight research done. So I did this in 30 to 45 minutes yesterday. And you can see here from the prompt, it started by just asking it to give me the best market. So I said, hey, ChatGPT, give me the best market of people who would buy a $50,000 service to sell high ticket products or services without sales calls. So I asked it to give me the market, to give me the niche. And so you can see here, it gives me back this answer. The best market of people who would buy a $50,000 service to sell high ticket products or services would be these types of people, established businesses, entrepreneurs with a proven track record. It gives me a little more context. I wasn't quite happy with this answer. I wanted it to expand a bit. So I just said, expand on that. What types of businesses do they have? What industries are they in? And what types of entrepreneurs are they? And what is their track record? And so now you can see we're getting a little deeper. So now it's telling me information products, coaching and consulting. These are actually the two markets that I target with this service, health and wellness, real estate. So it's giving me ideas. So let's say that you have an idea for a product or service you wanna roll out and you're not quite sure the best type of person who it would benefit or who you should sell that to, you can just ask GPT. Is it gonna be perfect every time? No, but I val this is an existing offer, so I validated, is this gonna give me the right answers to who's already buying it? And turns out, yes, it did. So you can use it to help you pick the right market, and you can also go a little deeper. So the next thing I said was, hey, um, ChatGPT, give me, like the customer profile of people in this market. Like what is their age, occupation, industries, their hobbies, their common pain points? What is their secret desire? What is a day in the life like for them? And you can see it spits back all this information here. So a key to using ChatGPT and getting the right information is putting in the right prompts and asking it the right things. And so what I found is you wanna be specific and you also, if you don't like the answer it's giving you, you wanna iterate on that. So you can see I did that here, where I said, hey, I, uh, expand on that. What types of businesses, what industries, what types of entrepreneurs? So if you get an answer back, you don't like the answer, just ask it to expand, ask it to make it simpler and easier to understand. Another question I like to ask is explain it to me like I'm 10 years old or explain it to me like I'm in fourth or fifth grade. And that will give me a more simplified answer.
Now, some other ways you can use this, you can see on the left how I'm using it here for the different sections. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but something else I found cool is the objections. So I just asked it, hey, give me 10 objections a customer might have before buying the service and a rebuttal for each objection. So this is giving me some, if they're in the shoes of the customer who's about to buy this $50,000 service, what are the objections that would come up and what are some of the best ways to respond to it? And this is super useful because I can use this in my marketing. I can add it to my sales letter in the Q&A section. I can create individual emails and posts that address these objections. And so it's giving me ideas for how I can respond to the different objections that would come up. Now, a couple more things that I wanna show you. One is you can use this for content ideas as well. So I said, give me 25 viral YouTube video ideas to create around selling without sales calls, which is what the service is about. And so you can see it gave me all these different ideas. And these are good titles and good ideas for videos. So boom, right here, this would have taken me hours of just researching other channels and trying to figure out what should the titles be, what should the hook be. It's giving it to me right here. I'm actually really enjoying um, this section especially. One more funny thing I wanna show you directly in ChatGPT is you can have it act like a certain person. And so I had some fun with it. I said, pretend you're Donald Trump and explain this service and get progressively more intense towards the end of the explanation. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but this is pretty funny to me. And this is, if you read it, it's exactly Donald Trump's voice. So it's, you could use it for marketing and advertising. You can make a joke out of it or post it on social media, making fun of it. And so there's lots of different ways that you can use this, but I just wanna show you, like I'm scratching the surface right now. I've used it for research. This would have taken me an insane amount of time to do time and energy. And it saved me all the time and energy. It's got me 80 to 90% of the way there with the research already done. And what would have taken me a week took me 30, 45 minutes. So if you do any kind of copywriting or you create and sell your own products or you work with clients and you do this for yourself, start feeding the prompt to the chat GPT. This is again on the free plan. I'll probably upgrade because there's some cool features, but I just fed up the information that I would go and manually uh, put into this doc and it gave me back this awesome document here. So that's it for this video. Play around with ChatGPT. I'll make more videos around this if you enjoy it. So hit the like button. Let me know in the comments if you like content just like this. I'll probably keep it more direct going forward so I don't have to worry about all the fancy editing. But if you like more content around AI and how I'm using it, give it a like, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.